Hey guys, it's Danny's Queen here and daughter number three. Um, she wants to show you her chicken chore daily routine. So I'm gonna turn the camera around and let her show you what she does on a daily basis. So I'm grabbing some food. Sorry, fill this bucket up. She's been hungry. And the whole duck pool this morning just froze over. The ducks were not liking it. Because they, they had no pool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a little uh, chilly this morning. So, look at that. And we keep it in this so the animals and stuff can't uh, get into the food and stuff. Like some stray cats or some sooties. We call that like little field mice stuff. And she got daughter number three has some long pants and a long shirt because it was like 40 degrees um this morning when she got up but when i got up it was probably like 30 degrees outside and the water's real low it does that when it gets cold but you, you can see the bottom right there nice little shot Charlie, our duck is doing a lot better. She's actually walking and she's quacking and everything now. So she's doing a lot, lot better. Open this door so they can go in. Sometimes the wind, uh, it shuts it. No, we gotta do their water, so I dump their water out. And she's gonna go dump their water out and um, pour them some new water. You do the swimming pool every day, or? Yeah, that swimming pool right there, that's for the ducks. They like to get in there and uh, swim and stuff. She said she uh, does it every other day or every two days. Just depending on how muddy they get it, and they get it pretty muddy. It's really, dirty. It smells in the hatch every day. Turning on the water. She knocked off my shoe. <laughs> I don't mind that. That's the 12 o'clock bell. It goes off um, every day at noon. Um, Danny said that he used to tell the people that worked in the fields it was time for lunch. So, but it's been going off like that every day at noon for years and years and years. He said. When it's warmer out, she usually gets a brush and kind of like cleaned out the pool a lot better, but um, she's just still in it today. Yeah, I do that like every few months or so. It gets built up after a while, but right now it's not too bad. They scrape it off their feet when they. Like, yeah. And then she's gonna come get the eggs under there um, when she's done with their water. And they probably laid right there because the door, the door to the coop had blown shut. So sometimes, yeah, they like that. <laughs> Charlie's getting her some, huh? 
Charlie. Yeah, ducks typically wait until I put them down. Charlie. No, Charlie. <laughs> she just pecked her. <laughs> Charlie. That's a bad girl. <laughs> now she's just putting some water for our, the chickens or the ducks, whatever. No, they just good? drink out of both. <laughs> Yep. They don't keep it very clean with the eggs. There you go, guys. Now, what else do you do? Uh, every once in a while, I get them to some fish, but it's too low to get them to eat fish. Yeah, she usually goes and scoops up some little minnows and stuff, but um, like I said, the bayou is low because of the, uh, the cold front and the wind kind of blows it out. Collect the eggs first. Okay. And she's gonna collect the eggs. I'm glad you're getting under there. <laughs> I don't mind, I'm used to it. <laughs> we haven't been getting much eggs because of the cold weather, so. Yeah. But normally, I mean, we have six laying chickens and one laying duck. And the silkies, I haven't like Charlie's getting her a drink. They probably should be right now, but because it's cold, we're not getting anything from it. If you want to buy the older ones, you can cut them apart. They look more scruffy. Oh, there you can see all the feathers. Yep. See all right there. get this and get our leaves. I get a particular kind of leaves. That's like the all I eat because they're picky. Yeah, so why we're high enough, I can probably catch a whole bucket full of minnows and ducks love them. But. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy while we're walking. <laughs> You see the packages, you see they're separate. That's why I pick for them. I think they have too much because I have to hold it for them to eat it. So I can't really pick it. Yeah, her and little man likes to call it chicken lettuce. Chicken salad. Oh, there's an egret. Yep. Oh, I missed it. It's like a wild bird. It's really pretty. Just do that for right now, Maya. There's some big ones over there, but I'm gonna save those and let them get a little bit bigger before I give them all. This is just small ones. Yeah, she likes to give them a little treat. <laughs> I haven't given them fish in a while because I haven't like seen it. I know I fished in there, but sometimes it's like, especially under the floods, there's a whole bunch of them. I can pick like a lot of them. Chickens! Got some leaves! I was gonna watch here. Oh, them all, them all. Yeah. Silky's don't really like them. Come on. <laughs> Let's get your feathers back. Coco's looking better. She don't look scruffy anymore. That's Hershey. She's one of the chicks. And they're not like chicks anymore. Yeah, we still considered like the silkies and one other one the chicks because they're small, like younger than the rest of them. <laughs> that's how we separate them apart. Yeah. The, these hens, well these ladies, that's that's Fia, and that's Emily. Fia. Don't touch me. And there's Hershey. <laughs> and that Walk little... around and tell them, point to all of them. Alright. Uh, let me... She's gonna um, show you guys each chicken and what their name is and everything and then Oh, we'll go okay, from so there. Let's start with this one. This little white silky is cream. No cookies and cream. Uh, right yeah, but one. Uh, yeah, the, the sister passed away. That's Emily. That's Hershey. You tell apart because Coco looks scrawnier. They get really plump when they're young and they just like shrink. There's Onyx. There's Mary. Mm -hmm. uh, 
That's BB, the black one. Uh, one in the bowl is Dottie. Oh, she left. That the yellow, yeah, the yellow silky is Dottie. The little uh, rooster is Harold. And the two black silk is a Harold. Oh, she left. Well, not Harold, but a rooster. And this is the female dog, Charlie. You should know her. And that's our male dog, Ollie. They're about like eight or nine months old. So are silkies. Yeah, the silkies are, and the ducks are probably about a, a a week apart. And we got two black silkies. The, I'll see if I can grab one. I want to show you the difference. Look at you. Where's Penny? <laughs> She's trying to catch a chicken. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I catch him. I can catch him. I want to catch him. Wait, let's see if we can have them in the corner. Right. Here, what's your idea? All right, guys, that's daughter number three um, chicken daily chore uh, video. So I hope you guys enjoyed that, and y'all grow that later. Bye.